and welcome to Quail Valley Elementary School in Fort Ben ISD. I have some very special third and fourth graders to introduce you to. How would you like to see them? Can everybody, can you say hi? <laughs> what we're going to talk about today is how cold it is outside. And so we already talked with these kids about today's cold. It was much colder yesterday. But what I'd like to talk about is why is it so cold? I asked one of the kids about why it's so cold. And the answer was because the sun is farther away. And what I explained, the sun is actually closest to the earth right now than it is throughout the entire year. And we're actually, the sun is farther away in July in summer, but it's not because of the sun because it's actually cold, because it's actually close to us right now, relatively speaking. So it's cold. We've got the dogs. We've got them warming up. We've got the ice on the ground, ice in the water. So we did not get snow with this storm, but we did get ice. But the reason we're so cold has to do much more about us than it does the sun. Do you notice in this globe that it is tilted 23 and a half degrees? The earth is not straight up and down. If you lay this flat, it's actually tilted 23 and a half degrees. So I need two volunteers here to help me with this. You're one, come on up. You're two, come on up. So what you're going to be, let's have you be, uh, because you're nice and tall, you're going to be the sun. Um, what's your name? Kyra. Kyra. Everyone say hi to Kyra. Hi, Kyra. And then come on over here. What's your name? Penny. Penny. Everyone say hi to Penny. Hi, Penny. Penny is going to be the earth. Okay, so Penny, we're going to find us on this map or on this globe, and we are right here. So here is Missouri City, Texas, right here. We've got this up straight, and today we are in winter, right? So will you put out your arm like this? Your, this is the sun's direct rays. The sun's direct rays are in the southern hemisphere right now. They are not on the northern hemisphere. So you're going to move around with me. We're going to travel around the sun. And in the summertime, the sun's direct rays, guess what they're right on top of? Almost. Missouri City. So the sun's direct rays, put out your direct rays are right on top of us. In the winter time, the sun's direct rays are away from us. That's one of the reasons it's cold in the winter, because the sun's direct rays don't hit us. But as we go around the sun, in the summertime, the sun's direct rays are almost right on top of us. So give them a big round of applause. Thank you. So that's, that's answer number one. Answer number one is because of the tilt of the earth, we have seasons. Because of the tilt of the earth, we're cold in the wintertime, we're hot in the summertime. So that 23 and a half degrees creates our seasons. And you can see from up here, there's the sun direct rays in the summertime. In the winter, the direct rays are in the southern hemisphere. The sun does play a factor. So the one person who was talking about, well, because we're close or far away, it was on to something here. Because the sun is right on top of us in the summertime, basically with the direct rays, we're getting a lot more sunshine. Their days are longer. We're getting more heat. Do you see the angle of the sun in December and January? It's really low on the horizon. So our days are, sh are, are shorter. So it's really the sun's direct rays over the southern hemisphere in the wintertime. But the other factor is the jet stream. And I wouldn't talk about the jet stream if I was talking to kindergartners, first graders, or second graders, because it's a little more of a difficult concept. But the jet stream, I need another person to help me. Come on up. OK. What's your name? Ruth. Ruth. Everybody, Everybody say, say hi, hi to Ruth. Ruth. So here's what Ruth is going to do. Ruth is going to represent the jet stream. In the, at certain times of year, the jet stream is up here in the Arctic, or it's in Canada, or it's in the northern United States in like Montana or New York. Do you guys know what happened yesterday and this morning where the jet stream is? The jet stream bent, and it came all the way into southeast Texas. What the jet stream is going to do later today, it's going to move back up 
to the northern United States. And guess what it does on Saturday? It bends again, and we're going to be cold again in the 20s Saturday morning. So we're not done with the cold just yet. So it's the jet stream. Good, good job. Good job. So the jet stream are upper level winds, and when they bend, do you see the bend? Where's Ruth's bend? There's the bend right here. When they bend, that cold Arctic air is able to move right into where we are in Missouri City. I lost my clicker. Did you see where that? Oh, here it is. Do you see the bend? Do you see the pink colors? Usually it's up to the north. On big amplified patterns of what they're called, that cold air moves all the way into southeast Texas. So we were cold. We were below freezing this morning. This morning when I came in, I was looking at this thermometer, it read 20 degrees outside. Yesterday, it was 18 degrees outside. Now, it's nice in here. You guys are coming in at 72 degrees, so this is a nice, comfortable room. But, why did we not get snow? We had ice on the ground, but we didn't get snow. So I need four people to help me here. And I needed the four tallest kids who raised their hand. So ready? One. Two, three, four, come on up. Okay, you guys, I need four. Okay, coming up. Okay, I have three. Where did my other person go? I lost my other tall person. Okay, come on up. Yep, yeah, perfect. Come on up. Yep. Yep. What's your name? Symphony. I'm sorry? Symphony. What? Symphony. Symphony. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful name. Symphony. What's your name? Faye. May. Faye. Faye. Okay, like that. What's your name? Regina. Regina. Okay. Come on. Oh, yes. We are tall right Michelle. here. I'm sorry? Michelle. Michelle. Okay. You guys are going to represent the atmosphere. So here's what I need. I want you to be over here. I want you to be here. You to be here. You said Rochelle or Michelle? Michelle. Michelle. We get a lot of rain. When we get rain, we have Symphony over here. Symphony from her head to the ground is above freezing. We can get rain when it's 90 degrees outside, we can get rain when it's 40 degrees outside. But from the ground, we're all here on our feet. This is where we are. This is the top of the atmosphere. From the top of the atmosphere to where we are on the ground is all above freezing. We had a lot of freezing rain the last, or yesterday more specifically, there's no more ice really left over now. What's interesting about our atmosphere is that on the ground, we were below freezing. We were at 18 degrees yesterday. We were at 20 this morning. That's well below freezing. But up from the waist up, we were above freezing. Temperatures were in the 40s and even 50s. So what happened was rain fell, but as it fell from the sky, once it got close to the ground or once specifically it hit the ground, guess what it did? It froze. So some of our roads froze. It froze on our plants that I was showing you, and it froze in water. We also had sleet. Sleet is that you're below freezing for a good part of the area, but just from the shoulders up, you're above freezing. So you're getting rain, and as it falls, it's freezing, but it's not snow. And then, we all like snow, right? Wouldn't it have been cool to have snow yesterday? It would have been snow. It would have been great, but, I mean, for kids, I think. But for snow, you need to be below freezing from the ground, to the top of the atmosphere. We need to be below 32 the entire column of air. So when you're looking at the atmosphere, you're looking at more where you are on the ground. You actually have to look at from the ground to the middle part of the atmosphere to the top of the atmosphere. And for Michelle, she is below freezing. She's cold the entire way down. So we're getting snow. We're getting rain here because it's all above freezing. And we, the last, or yesterday specifically, we had a mix. So that's why we had freezing rain, ice on the ground, and some sleet, but we didn't get snow, and we didn't really get rain. Give everybody a big round of applause here. Good job, guys. Okay, now I need somebody strong. If you know, good. Come on up. What's your name? King. King? King. Oh, man, that's great. King, we got a big, strong name. And somebody strong right now with us, okay? So King's going to help us. If you remember, yesterday we had sleet. We had freezing rain. Yeah. 
Today, we hardly have a cloud in the sky. It's completely dry. The reason for that is because of high and low pressure. So first of all, wind travels from high to low pressure. Air pressure is the weight of a column of air above the surface. So low pressure is light, it lifts. High pressure is heavy. I want to give you an example with this with King. So King, what we're going to do is we're going to display what high pressure is like. High pressure here is heavy. So King, get behind this right here. And so high pressure sinks the air. Today we have high pressure in control. So we're not getting any clouds that build up. Lift that straight up, King. Straight, not at an angle, straight. Okay, King, use your muscles. Why can't, well, how hard was that, King? Tough? Straight up, don't do it at an angle, straight. Ah! How hard is that? That's high pressure. High pressure is heavy. It sinks the air and it's really hard to get up unless you really use your muscles, right, King? Good job, you're strong. Low pressure, though, I need four other kids. Go ahead and have a seat, King. Low pressure is light. Let's just grab you four right here. Come on up. You guys face, the, face out, face everybody. Put your hands like this. Low pressure is light. Yesterday, what happened was all the moisture on the ground was lifted. The clouds condensed and then it came down as freezing rain and it came down as sleet. And so low pressure really represents their hands here because their hands are warm and you get light lifting. Cup that. What happens to the water there? Make sure you cup it. Cup it. Wrap your hands around it. Don't drop it. Put your hands around it. What's happening here? What is happening with the water inside? Wrap your hands around it. It is climbing. It's going up. It's up. It's going, wrap, wrap it really tight there. It goes up. Wrap it really tight there. Do you see how it climbs? Low pressure climbs. Low pressure is light. Good job. Everybody see that? This one's the best one. Let me show everybody. Let me show everybody this one. I'll move that so you can see it away from the camera. Look at how that's like boiling. Do you see that? Look at that, just kind of keep going up. So that's what happens when you have low pressure. That's why we had sleet and freezing rain yesterday. The reason we don't have a thing out there today is because high pressure is around. Good job, guys. Give them a big round of applause. This is Brookshire, Sleet and Trinity. Ice, sleet. No snow, no rain. We have had snow before though. This was 2004. Was anybody here besides the teachers born in 2004? No. But this is what 2004, it snowed all the way down to Galveston. And so you actually had snow. We had an ice storm nearly three years ago. But since we didn't have snow, do you guys, how about I try to make snow? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some glitter here. And we're all disappointed, or I was disappointed that we didn't have a snow forecast, that we had ice and sleet. But what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to try and create some snow for you. So if you look very carefully there, you will see what looks like snowflakes just dancing in the space. And the glitter is helping create the snow in a little bottle. We didn't get snow yesterday, but we've got a little bit in our room right now. So pretty cool. You can take a look at that um, as, we, as we move throughout the rest of the time. So here we are, and the question is, well, how did I know that when I was on the air last week and I was talking about what the dangers were, how did I know that we would have freezing rain and not snow? How did I know that we would have sleet and not snow? Well, it was because I'm looking at all the levels of the atmosphere, so that's the job that I have. So your teacher's job is to teach you. Your guys' job right now, even though it's not really a job, is, but your job right now is to learn. But we all have different jobs. So my job is to be able to look at the weather and be able to decipher the weather and then predict the weather and then tell you about it. So we have three of your fellow students who are about to do that. But the way I do that, first of all, you look at radar. 
you look at satellite images, there you can see snow. Here's snow, by the way, up here. This is rain. You have hook echoes on radar, which would be a tornado. And then you have recording stations. It shows you what the temperature is, what the wind speeds are, what the humidity is. And so you look at all that. And also for me, it was important for me to look at the temperatures on the ground, to look at the temperatures in the middle layers of the atmosphere, and also up high. And what helps me do that are weather models that look at the upper levels of the atmosphere. And then you also have super surface maps. Do you see high pressure there? Do you see high pressure? And there's pretty much no clouds over that because the air is sinking. And the only one that can lift up high pressure is King here because he's so strong. And you also have to look outside because yesterday when all of this started falling, I actually needed to know, is this verifying? So I actually needed people to tell me, hey, yes, you're talking about freezing rain. It is. It's sticking to the ground now. It's there. It's ice on the ground. And so you have to look outside. If the rock is wet, it's raining. If the rock is swaying, it's windy. If the rock is hot, it's sunny. If the rock is cool, it's overcast. If the rock is white, it's snowing. If the rock is blue, it's cold. If the rock is gone, tornado! And then I make the graphics. And then I tell them to you when you watch. I am in front of a green screen, usually. If, in fact, right now, because we're building a new studio, I'm a green screen all the time. The weird thing about a green screen, and your three friends are about to see this coming up, is that if I brush my teeth on TV, and I put my toothbrush here, if I'm at home and I'm brushing my teeth, the toothbrush is right in front of me, right? On TV, if I brush my teeth, the toothbrush is over here. So the hardest part of what they're going to have is to be able to point to what they're looking at and to see and get comfortable with seeing things reversed. So that's how it is um, doing it in front of a green screen. So now it's your turn. Can I get my three friends to stand up? Can I get Alexander, Caden, and Evan to come on up? He's going to do the weather for your school. They're all going to do the weather for your school. They're going to give the current temperatures, what our weather is today, and what happens tomorrow. OK, we ready? We've got Caden first, right? You're going to do an introduction first. While Caden is going, I'm going to leave him on his own because he's already practiced. And I'm going to flip the show so you guys can see Caden do his work. And then there's also should be a delay so Caden can watch. Are you ready? OK, I'm out of the way. I can start? Yes. Hi, my name is Caden Davis, and I'm a third grader at Quill Valley Elementary. It's 24 degrees in Conroe. 27 degrees in Tomball and 26 degrees in Spring. Today, Wednesday, 48 degrees. Thursday, 68 degrees. Friday, 52. Bye. <laughs> Good job! Great job! Okay, so Kate, what you're going to do is I'm going to have you have a seat because you're about to show up and do it live. Okay, who's next? Alex? Okay, Alex, remember to hold the mic so people can hear you. I'm going to get out of your way. Okay. Remember, it's the middle button. You can switch if it's more comfortable. Okay. And then introduce yourself, and I'm out of the way. Okay, my name is Alex, and today, and like, today is like... It's 29 degrees, and the humidity is 61, and the wind chill Let's is 23. See how he's having a hard time with this way. Today in in Bay, uh, today in Galveston, it's 23 degrees. It, in Sugarland, it's 29. The Woodlands is 28. Cypress is 28, 20, and Tomball is 27. Wednesday is 48, Thursday is 68, 68, and tomorrow is Friday. And, and for that is, is 52. Bye bye, Dad. I mean, hello, hello, Dad. I need to go. Yay! Okay, before you go on, Evan, come here. Okay, so 
you're about to see Alex go live here. Alex, first of all, I, I was noticing something. Was it difficult to stand in the right place and why? Mm, it, mm, it was because like I couldn't, I didn't have like that much control on my feet, but uh -huh. I was still able to do it. Yeah, so Alex made a really important point. He said he didn't have control of his feet. So what happens was Alex was looking at himself backwards. And so he thought the natural movement was to come this way when actually the movement was supposed to be this way. And so that's one of the things I noticed because you're flipped. So you're like, oh, I need to move this way to see the maps. No, you need to move this way. So Alex, good job though. You still, like you said, you still got it done. Way to go. Okay, Evan, you ready? Okay, we've got Evan now. So go ahead and get in place. Wait till the wait till the camera's on the tripod, unless he's gonna stay for this. Okay, you're good. Okay, uh, and remember to say um, a welcome. Wait till it's set, it looks good. Okay, you're good. Okay. Um, it's, it's 29 degrees today, and it's 23 today in Dayton, it's 28 in Kingwood, and 31 in, in Webster. Today it is 48 degrees. Tomorrow it is warming up to six, to almost 70 degrees, and on Friday it is 52 degrees. To oh, bye. I'm done. <laughs> Good job, Evan. Great job. Okay, Evan, why don't you guys have a seat so you can watch yourself and you can watch, um, Evan, you can watch yourself. And then I'm going to end with this. Well, we'll actually, we'll watch for a second. Look at that. Well, that's a great smile, isn't it? That is really excellent. Uh, okay. How much time, Renee? Because I know if I get off this, Evan won't be able to see himself. We have seven minutes. Okay, we're going to give ourselves one minute of time so that Evan can see himself. So do you, it's, it's just, who does, you, none of you guys have TikTok, right? None of, no, you guys are too young for TikTok, but it's the same, it's the same thing how you can put things behind yourself. It's the same thing with the green screen. Okay. Oh, you know what? Evan, you know what? I'm going to send you the link. Otherwise, we're just kind of sitting here forever because this is delayed. It looks like by about two minutes. Okay. You guys have a seat. Thank you so much. Good job, guys. You want to say, oh, you're done now, right? Oh, yeah, you're done. Okay, so let's go here. Oops. Okay. Okay, have a seat, you guys. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat, you guys. Go back and have a seat. Have a seat. Okay, have a seat, you guys. Go have a seat. Have it. Go back to your seats. Okay, you guys. We're gonna end with this. I can't do. Okay. In my job, I cannot wear green. This is for a green screen. So if any of you guys had green on, depending on how we set it up, you would disappear. But one Halloween, I wore green, sort of. What did I do? I covered my head, so what should happen to my head? So, for one Halloween, I was the headless weatherman. And this is what it looked like. And all I did was wrap my head in green, and then there's my horse, and that's what it looked like. So. Okay. We're going to end with this demonstration. We were talking about freezing rain. We were talking about sleet, snow. Um, where did the water go? All of that. What I'd like to end with, and I think we've got about a minute left to do this. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put some water in there. It starts with clouds. 
So I put five drops of water. Everybody saw that, right? What I'm doing now is I'm adding heat to this bottle, just like when you saw your students, your uh, cup, yeah. and what happened? It lifted. So what we're doing now is we're adding heat, and so we're going to get condensation, we're going to get evaporation. You can't really see it, right? There is a, do you guys see the water drops in there? No. no. Yes. Let's see, what do you think happens if we let the air out and rise? We created a cloud. So it starts with a cloud that's lifted, it gets it filled with moisture, and then depending on the temperatures that we talked about, it's either going to fall as rain, snow, sleet, or freezing rain. And that's what we had. How much time, Renee? I think we have one minute left. In the one minute before we have to say goodbye, who has one weather question? Come on up. Yes. Okay. Ready? Ready? Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Ready? Go ahead. My one weather question is how is like how does it get cold when we're near the when we're near the Earth's core? Oh, great question. Now we're not near near the what's the, the talking about the sun. Being near the sun. No, so, no, it's not that it's like the core provides heat and if, if we're Oh, the cold, Earth's core. Yeah. Because the Earth's core is not affecting us at all. I mean, think of how large the Earth is. Let me show you this. So we have an Earth here. Earth, where is your Earth's core? I mean, how far, I mean, how close is the Earth's core to the surface? I mean, it's not close at all, right? I mean, it's at the core, it's in the center. So being hot in the center is not affecting the surface temperatures. Our temperatures are much more affected by what's happening with the tilt of the earth, the seasons, and also the jet stream. But the core, as you correctly say, is hot, but it's not affecting our surface. Got it? Hey, you guys, thank you so much for having us out today. We are going to about to do the 10 second countdown. Are you guys ready to say goodbye? Yeah.